Okay, what do we have here? Well, this is Swamp Vervain or Verbena Hostata, and it's on all our major prairie areas. And uh, if you're lucky, you'll find it in a ditch near your home or something if people haven't been mowing them down. And it's a beautiful annual plant, so it has to go to seed if you want to see it again next year. It doesn't come out from its roots. There's a tiny flower. I I think I showed in the first short take a different shot of it, but uh, actually a different one of the plants. That's one of the uh, vine uh, flowering plants. It's common in northwest Arkansas. I honestly don't know whether that one's a native or non-native. There is the world milkweed, Asclepius verticillata. There's an example of blue stem grass, one of the several blue stem species that grow on our, our prairies. And that was made right at dark and you can see how pretty it is and that seed is wrapped in the middle of the, the leaves around the, the grass and as it, it grows it matures and, and opens up like that. Okay, there's the uh, entomology department booth at the town center on the weekend. They were showing people insects and trying to get people to understand beneficial insects and also the importance of protecting habitat for beneficial insects and pollinators. And one of the benefits, of course, is that uh, they are many of these native species in addition to the uh, uh, European honeybees that you're accustomed to seeing and hearing about uh, that are in danger right now for various causes. Uh, they're the things that pollinate your food as well as these wildflowers that you're seeing. So that's just a lot of our friends on the square that you probably see every Saturday if you walk around the square. Try to get pictures from different corners. That's all from the southeast corner right there. And there's Lin Linda Ralston and talking with a lady. and. Uh, uh, they're, they're having a, a good time. And uh, in the back, there's Bob Egg Ebenegger, a uh, regular, old, old long-term uh, regular on the Cat Channel in Fayetteville as a producer and, and uh, volunteer. And see, the storm clouds were coming, but we never got any rain Saturday morning. And so we really had a long-term drought. And this is ninth of... Uh, August and uh, we're hoping soon we'll have some more heavy rain. Well, cute kids and cute puppies are always popular at the square. Well, there's Bob Jordan and he's holding his, his uh, bumper sticker upside down, but it's a kindness poster that he's, he's got that was created by Gary Medley and Gary's going to be distributing some of those, maybe at the Omni booth or maybe at the booth you saw. There is a um, fritillary. It's the Great Spangle Fritillary. It's on a native thistle plant. There's a tiny white. We've shown a different tiny white today. And uh, that one is, as you can see, a lot smaller than my thumbnail. So. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful thing and, and uh, it always catches my attention when those tall things are, are in bloom out there on the prairie. Now there's an example of, of what the leaves on that plant look like. So it's tall and it branches out in those very narrow little leaves that go with those tiny little white flowers. Okay, that's goldenrod and goldenrod is just starting to really bloom a lot in northwest Arkansas. So you'll, you'll be seeing goldenrod and you don't have to look for it like those little things. There's a typical grasshopper. There were actually two on similar plants or almost identical grasshoppers on identical plants. I just got a kind of a close-up of that one. That is <coughs> ironweed, another gaudy, beautiful, not large, but certainly not a uh, tiny plant that uh, you'll see on prairie areas here in northwest Arkansas. So until next time, this is Arbor Shepherd asking you to do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green. See ya.
Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard, and we're doing another short take. Going to redo the first one we did on the 9th of August because I uh, messed up just a little bit on it, and we may mess up more this time. But anyway, RNCIC meets at uh, on the first Saturday of the month, and I was trying to promote that a little bit. They still trying to raise money to expand the National Cemetery to the sale barn property. So let's go ahead and look at some of our other photos. Okay, there's a tiny butterfly. Uh, one of the mistakes I made was calling it a larger type of butterfly than it is. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's tiny and it's on the world milkweed, which is also tiny. Okay, there you see two types of liatris. The one on the, the, the left, that's the reddest in this case, uh, has many more blooms, and uh, it, it's a different species from the one on the right where they're sort of separated. There's your uh, world milkweed, uh, Asclepius verticillata, and now here's one of the um, liatris flowers that's really at full bloom. Most of them are just about to open. On some prairie areas, they've been in bloom for weeks, but uh, this is a, um, it's been drier in South Bell is the only reason I know because they, they were abundant in other places earlier. Okay, that of course is a praying mantis. You can see he's in the prayer pose there, and that's because I'm, uh, I'm making circles around that plant to make his picture, and he's asking me for mercy, I think, to leave him alone. Okay, there's a legumous uh, plant. I won't attempt to guess which one it is, but you saw a gray hair streak on it. This is comet milkweed, or green comet milkweed, also known as short green milkweed. These have been in bloom for a few weeks, and this is uh, you know, getting toward the end of the, the period. Uh, and it gets into August for them to, to stay in bloom. So there may be a few plants that have not bloomed and maybe they'll last a little bit longer. Here's one of my favorite tiny white uh, flowers. And uh, I showed some, earlier I showed some other close-ups of it. But this is the uh, panic grass and it's a native grass, very uh, significant uh, uh, because it's so widespread and it is useful to birds and other wildlife. That's a shot of the sign for the new Fayetteville High School expansion. They're actually going to tear down Bates School and uh, old Bates School that they closed a few years ago and build that fancy new high school there. Can't tell exactly why we need a new high school, but uh, because the old one's been turning out some of the, the best prepared students in, in Arkansas for decades. Anyway, new buildings, that's popular. These people are singing, and they're singing peace songs, uh, anti-war songs, if you like, and the program was all about the bombing, the United States bombing of Japan to end World War II. Some people say it saved a lot of lives, people that would have been killed if the war had continued for another year or longer. But this was up at the Peace Fountain, uh, adjacent to Old Main on the University of Arkansas campus. And that's a fine piece of architecture, by the way, by Faye Jones. And let's see, there you see Friend Jordan. Well, he's really Robert Jordan or Bob Jordan, but he was injured last fall and he said he appreciates life a lot more and uh, he really appreciates having friends. So. All his longtime friends are, are of course, uh, flocking to him whenever they see him out and just glad he recovered from his, his serious injury. So he's started a peace, a lot, I mean, a kindness organization. And it's meeting at Omni Center uh, some nights, every now and then, and gathering more members. And the idea is just to spread kindness. And there's John Rule and his friend uh, Ruth at Wright, and they're talking to one of the longtime Omni members who comes all the way from Tahlequah to participate in Omni activities. So he's got a two-hour round trip at least to, to come over for these things, and he's a loyal follower. There's some ladies who are there 
they they are Omni members, but but in particular, this Nagasaki uh, ceremony was of interest to them because that lady on the left was I, I haven't heard her story. I, I knew her husband before he passed away also, but uh, they may have been in Japan and or, or may have been in the United States before that when it, when the the war occurred. I don't know. Anyway, that was a great ceremony. We had some good speakers, some good music, and uh, Omni Center is always welcoming anybody who wants to come and participate. So until next time, this is Aubrey Shepard asking you to do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green. See ya. <laughs>